Hey artists, it's Monster Paws. Welcome to my 2017 studio tour. Because my um, studio space is kind of small, like I have to be pretty crafty about um, like storage and how things are displayed so that I have the maximum amount of room possible to um, make art and stuff. So I'm just gonna take you guys through my studio here. And I guess we'll start right over here. This is my like work space, I guess, where I edit videos and things like that. Let's start down here. So because, like I said, I don't have much space, I um, decided to get this desk right here that has a bunch of little cubby holes in it. And then um, I got some of these little box storage things. These were literally $5 at, I think I went to five below. It's like at the dollar store, except everything is $5 and below. So I'm just gonna take you guys through each of these boxes, tell you what's in them, if there is anything in there, because some of them are empty. In this first free spirit box, Okay. So in here we have some really old sketchbooks. This sketchbook is literally like falling apart. It's got some really old, back whenever I was just getting into realism, like type of art. And as you can see, I drew a lot of Lady Gaga. So maybe I'll do a sketchbook tour of this sketchbook. I found this um, just recently. I have never in my life completed a sketchbook, I don't think, except for one of these. I think it's this one. Almost every page in this one is filled up with something. Actually, I think at this point I was doing a lot of digital art, which means that I was doing a lot of anime. Unlike back whenever I was a kid, I was actually drawing my own anime characters instead of um, copying what I found on the internet. So maybe I'll also do a sketchbook tour of this one as well. Um, yeah, this is a notebook from college that I just decided to save. And then this last little folder in here is um, a bunch of really, really, really old art that I have done a video on some of the pieces in here and I'll link that video right up there in the top right corner if you guys want to see that one. It was like back whenever I was super small. I think I hit 100 subscribers in that video. So, <laughs> you know, if you want to see baby monster paws, you know, you can just click on that video. So I'm gonna kind of just like stick that back right there. I don't... <laughs> Just stay, just stay. Okay, so down here below this box, I have this um, really old digital camera that I don't use at all. My uh, diploma, and this is like a memory box. So this has a bunch of crap in it from like uh, high school. It's got all, <laughs> all of my old like IDs. I don't want, I don't know if there's any like sensitive information on this, but like I kept every single driver's license, every single ID from school. <laughs> Oh my god. Maybe one day I'll post this to my channel because this is hilarious. Um, back in my senior year of high school, we had to create a, a project for Pi Day. If you don't know what Pi Day is, you know, Pi in math 3.14, it's that. We had to create a project that was educational about the number Pi or whatever the fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but basically we made paranormal activity and we made like a trailer for um, This movie that was gonna be called paranormal activity and I burned it onto this disc But at the time I did not know how to f properly save my files and um, It ended up burning to this disc without music so and then um, in here um, I have a bunch of <laughs> Lady Gaga bracelets and then a Jeffree Star bracelet. Holy crap. I used to wear these all the fucking time in school and I bought this one um, back in I think 2011 whenever that giant um, earthquake struck Japan and then this one is a rubber band that just says dance in the dark and then in here I have a bunch of um, awards from art shows that I've won and <laughs> okay this this is the medal that I got for the competition that I was disqualified from <laughs> 
So this was the state medal that I got. Hang on, no. This, this was a medal that I got for the regional competition, I think, and then I'm not sure what this one was for. I'm not really sure which one this red, white, and blue was for. Maybe it was just saying, hey, you're going to state. And then this one was like, hey, you won the regional competition. I don't know. Every single like card that I've ever had or anything that I was involved in in school, there's like pamphlets from plays and there's movie tickets in here. Just old stuff in here. This is from, what is this? Uh, this is when I went to go see the Avengers on March 5th, 2012. And I went with Ethan, my boyfriend. <laughs> So I just thought it was really cool to keep those and um, you know when I get really old I will look back on these and just reminisce about the days. And then, now my box won't close. And then this is just a boring thing where I keep um, business records and receipts and uh, things like that. If we come slide right over to the right in this box. I have a bunch of unused art supplies or um, art supplies that I just haven't gotten around to using yet. I have some pigments for inks that you just mix by yourself and these, I literally, I love these. These are the most opaque inks I've ever used and you can just use a dip pen with them. And then I have some um, Prismacolor. <laughs> things. I'm going to give these away in a giveaway down the road whenever I have more things to add to the giveaway because I have this 24 set and that is a 12 set. And then I have the um, Prismacolor turquoise pencils in here. And then I have some calligraphy sets as well and another um, Pentel pigment ink brush pen. And then I have this wooden panel that I don't know what I'm going to do with because I don't paint or anything, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm just going to stuff all that crap back in there. Get in there. All right, and then up here, most of this, I'm not even going to lie, is just pure decoration. These are just little mini tubes of acrylic paint, and um, I absolutely fucking hate acrylic paint. I hate them. So I don't even know why I bought this big ass set of acrylic paints because I'm never going to use them. But I have gotten around to kind of um, watering them down and using them in my sketchbook. So they have gotten a little bit of use recently, but I cannot ever see myself using all of these colors. And then over here, I just have a few of my um, Copic refills. I try to keep them all grouped together, you know, like cool grays together, and then the warm grays and the neutral grays. And then I just have some random inks over here. This is some putty crap for um, holding the art on the wall. And then back here, I have some of those inks that I mentioned. These are ones that have already been mixed. And then um, these are just some glitter things that I use for the inks. I just dump the glitter out because like I don't, I don't use glitter. So to the right, we have another box. And this one has just supplies that I don't really use at all. And that includes my really old um, like Wacom or Wacom, how, how do you say this? Wacom, 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 I don't know. Anyway, it's the Bamboo Pen and Touch tablet and it has seen its use. I haven't used it in a few years. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll come back to you, but I'm having too much fun with my traditional artwork, so I don't really ever see myself getting back into digital art like I was back in the day. <laughs> But you never know. You never know. And then down here I have all of the sketchbooks that I am currently using and or um, a planner and a book. So in this sketchbook it's just a handmade paper sketchbook. I really don't use it that often and I don't have much in it. I thought it was watercolor paper and it's not. It is just just handmade paper. Uh, there's not much in here except for this drawing that I started a really long time ago, like back before the Maleficent movie ever even came out and I never finished it. The Copic ink on this paper though is so vibrant and pretty. I just, I don't know, I don't really care for the texture of the paper. And then we have another sketchbook that I just I think I've had like one or two drawings in here. Toned gray sketchbook. And then this one is one of my favorite sketchbooks. It's almost completely out of paper because I've cut all of the papers out and put them into packaging for them to be sold. 
but um, this is the Strathmore Mixed Media Visual Journal and the paper in this can take a lot of copic ink and it doesn't really bleed through the back that bad so this is one of my favorite papers to use. Here I have these custom sketchbooks that I made a while back. You can catch all of these videos on my channel. They're pretty old, probably about a year old. Um, out of these two, the girl with kaleidoscope eyes is definitely my favorite. And then hugs, not drugs. Yeah, and then I just have a bunch of like mini sketchbooks. This one is the one that I got from Redbubble with my Aquarius um, printed on the front. And uh, this is just a super heavy picture book of Lady Gaga from way back in the day, like 2010, 2011, 2012, I think. I'm not sure. But, oh God, go back in there. Just get back in there. Uh, my amazing friends got me this book for, I think, my 18th birthday. Might have been my 19th birthday. I don't remember. All right, coming up here. This is pretty self-explanatory. I just have a um, camera bag and a coffee maker. The coffee maker's not plugged in. I have not used it in a while. Down here, I believe this one is empty. Yes, it is, except for these little melts for my candle wax warmer. I don't know, I forgot those were in there to be quite honest. So up here on my actual desktop, I have a mason jar filled with dead flowers because why not? And then this sketchbook just floats around my studio because it's too big to fit in any of these cubby holes. And um, if I put it over there, I will eventually go to do my packaging stuff and it'll just end up right back over here. So I just kind of like just leave it here. And then um, I have some sunglasses. These are the two main sunglasses that I wear. I've really been enjoying these so far. They're like my favorite. And then just some perfume for decoration. Kind of use this, not very often. I have other perfumes that I enjoy better. And then this is my editing setup. So I have my Mac and then a hard drive down here. It's a two terabyte hard drive. And then a microphone uh, with a pop filter. And then behind my computer, I have my art wall. And then I guess I'll just start over here. Up here we have Sailor Venus and Sailor Jupiter. These are just old drawings that I did back in, I think, 2015. All of this art up here, aside from these three right here, are for sale. If you want to cop any of these, you can pick them up on my Etsy shop. Links are in the description. So this one is probably one of my most favorite drawings currently. This is the God of Free Thought. This one down here is uh, called Aquarius and it is misspelled. <laughs> This is why I don't put words in my art because I cannot spell to save my fucking life. Over here we have Black Milk version 2. This is a draw this again from a bigger version that I did. I'll show you guys that piece later on in the video. And then right here we have Medusa. She used to be one of my favorites and now I'm just kind of like eh, eh. These are all the prints that I've done for the five months of Patreon that I've been active on Patreon. If you are a patron, $15 or more, then you get a print sent to you. And then down here we have the god of the rich and goddess of dreams. And this camera angle makes her look really weird. This is some art from a fan. I will put her links in the description below, but her name, uh, I believe, is Piper Baron's Renegade. And she sent me these prints of her art a few months ago, and it's beautiful. I love this watercolor print right here. It's very vibrant. And then she also sent me a sticker, but I just kind of put it in there with the print. All right, so that's pretty much it for my editing slash art storage station. And then over here, I just have this tiny table let me move around this tripod really quick. I have this table where I keep most of my um, most used art supplies. So as you guys know, I work a lot with pen and ink and markers. So I keep a lot of um, my most used supplies right here. So I can just, whenever I'm working on my, at my desk, I can just reach over and grab it. And I've just really given up on... <laughs> There's a Milky Way wrapper right here. I've just really given up on keeping my markers organized. Um, if you guys have been here since like day one, you've seen my um, DIY Copic storage. 
and when I moved I didn't take it with me so I just kind of threw them back in this box and I just was like you know what um fuck it I'm just gonna mix them all together and whenever I need a color I'm just gonna have to sit there and look for it <laughs> this is just a bottle of regular India ink and then this container contains a bunch of my most used pins and then it contains a few Copic markers that are empty and I put them in here to remind myself that I need to buy more refills for them. And then up here I have another container of um, some Prismacolor markers and a bunch of Faber-Castell pins that I got for Christmas and I've really been enjoying these. They're all pretty much brush tip ink markers like India ink instead of um, alcohol ink. And then over here on the other side I have my little eye home and uh, a knife. I guess if I need to cut somebody I can do that or cut myself on accident. And then um, my iPod because I have to have music when I'm drawing so yeah it's all dusty just don't don't worry about that. Moving on over here I have my drafting table and it is covered in chalk. This is actually going to be an upcoming video. It's going to be a first impression. This was done with chalk markers and um, it's coming off because I've been working on top of this uh, lately. I just haven't wiped it off. I don't know why. You'll see a video on that probably a few days after this one. Over here I have another um, sketchbook that I've been working in and um, up here I have some little trays that connect to the side of my drafting table with some pins that I use most often and a pencil sharpener. Um, on this side I have more trays. Uh, I don't know why I have this dead rose carcass in here but it's in there and then um, a bunch of erasers and again my most used pins on this side. I also have uh, some more art hanging up. This is the goddess of anxiety and my most recent piece that I did, um, Alien. She's just called Alien. So that is my drafting table and then down here I just keep a bunch of stuff that I just I don't have any room for. So these are my bigger sheets of Bristol board and this is a um, like portable well, I guess not really portable, but you can draw on it. You can hook your paper in there and draw on it. And then down here I have a um, portfolio. And this has like a bunch of crap in it that I just don't have room for. And it's really heavy and overfilled. Let me just drag it out here really quick. And I put some um, art in here that I didn't have space for. So in here I have my primary color challenge, some unfinished stuff art. These are some originals from Inktober last year and then my Bailey J drawing which for some reason I still haven't sent to her because I don't know why. I think I started these probably like these are graphite so these are really old probably around 2012 and I just never finished it. This was gonna be Graveyard Girl but she never got finished. And then we have the original of black milk and she is freaking huge this one is like 24 inches by 19 inches it's freaking massive compared to the smaller one over there she is um 14 inches by 17 inches i believe if you watched my recent story time you know that this is the piece that i was disqualified for so yeah i keep it because it reminds me of I don't I don't fucking know but I don't there's part of me that just can't let it go and then there's part of me that absolutely hates this piece and then uh, this was my piece that I did of made you look aka Alexis Fleming and this is a piece that I started and have not finished yet I still plan on finishing it and then this is a bunch of um, watercolor papers this is a really old um, just doodle that I did with some watercolors and I think that's about it for this portfolio. Moving on, we have my shipping and packaging station. Most of these are for um, bigger drawings and things like that. And uh, the only time I really do any packaging myself is whenever it's the first of the month and it's time to send Patreon rewards out to my patrons. This is the exclusive art for Patreon this month of March. She is inspired by my other piece right there called Alien. This is called Alien just number two. That's it. 
There's no originality to the title, just called Alien Number Two. And then just a bunch of packaging supplies and um, some more packaging supplies over here. I have um, some extra prints from Patreon. These are just little free gifts that I send out whenever people buy um, original art. In here, I just have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff to help me package. Um, we have packing tape, scotch tape, some glue, four by six um, little sleeves for my prints because I just don't have any other place to keep them, so I just keep them in this box. And then I have customs forms just for international packages, some envelopes, and um, a huge box of business cards right here that I stick in the back of every piece of art or print that I package. And this is my lava lamp and my trash can. The last thing that I have is, well, I guess my chair and then um, my just DSLR camera. This is usually just um, right over my shoulder so I can use it as a B-roll camera whenever I'm filming so I can get um, other angles instead of just a straight down view whenever this camera is connected to the tripod. So that's pretty much it for the studio tour, you guys. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to smack that ass on that like button. Subscribe, we do art things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and Snapchat. All the links are in the description below. And remember, don't quit your daydream. Okay.